My name is Alana Roth. These are my drawings. Um, they are illustrations for Euclid's geometric definitions. The very beginning of his many series of geometry texts, he had 23 definitions that begin with the most basic being a point is that which have, has no parts. And I found them very poetic and a lot of um, other meanings can be read into them besides their geometric definition. Um, a line is breathless length. I thought that was very poetic. And there are 23 in total, and these are um, nine from that collection. Oh, so is the, is the shape of the square in the rectangle specific? Um, I sort of envisioned the definition going under each um, image, um, but I decided that I really like the, the blank space and the composition of the square within the rectangle. And it looks like a, a orange shape. Like, um, like yeah, there should be exactly. there should be text here, you know, it's like implying that there is like a message underneath. Yeah. Um, the process these are actually different in each. This is a digital print photograph of my brother wearing rubber gloves, and then I painted over uh, everything with his hands, and was specifically inspired by several of my clients, I'm a public defender, uh, several of my clients who I represent who told me that they were uh, had anal cavity searches by police um, unlawfully, and so that was the inspiration for that picture. Um, but actually, all of these pictures, even though they're illustrations of geometric definitions, are inspired by my work as a public defender. Um, this is a view um, when you first meet your clients and they're incarcerated, and you look at you meet them through um, bars and plexiglass, and so that's sort of my the attorney's view. Um, one person just uh, kind of speaking to the amount of willful blindness I believe that we have towards uh, the injustices that are the criminal justice system. And um, going back to process, I would say this is my most um, sort of typical process and that involves um, a lot of different types of mark making, graphite, charcoal, ink, color pencil, erasing, and I like to get just really physical and like um, go back and forth from kind of being inattentive and like calm and detailed and then just like getting really violent and <laughs> like see the like um, gouges into the paper. And I think it just, you need to have that uncontrolled actual physical movement to give it that energy. Like you couldn't quietly and calmly like place these marks intentionally mm -hmm. and give it that energy, you kind of have to do that to, to, to give it that life. Mm -hmm. But then I like to go back into it and like be more detailed and thoughtful and um, intellectual or whatever it is. This is Debbie Yusuf. It was a collection of 23. Yes. Uh, how long did it take you to? It took about a month and a half. These are actually from a couple of some years ago, um, right before just had like some time off, and I just sort of did them all, sat down and did them like, all day, every day, um, until I finished, pretty much. So this is actually um, an illustration of the definition of perpendicular, and the text is, when a straight line standing on a straight line makes the adjacent angles equal to one another, each of the equal angles is right, and the straight line standing on the other is called a perpendicular to that on which it stands. And like all of these definitions, um, the sort of double meaning of some of the words kind of inspired me, and so when I, I thought of uh, sort of anthropomorphizing the line and it like actually standing like a human stands in another line, um, and I guess it is reminiscent of drawings of slave ships where mm -hmm. 
the where the body is, the human bodies were laying was actually like mapped out. Um, and I think that has unfortunately obvious relevance to the criminal justice system.